Hey, what's up guys, Theo here. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate the concept of partial application. And this is very similar to currying and working with closures. Basically the idea behind partial application is that we can create a function and uh, sort of just feed it in arguments one by one. And again, this promotes greater reusability and greater uh, sort of separation of just clumping, every clumping everything together in uh, one big function. So right, maybe we'd have this function called add or you know, add three numbers, right? Add three numbers, and it's just a function. It's gonna take an a, b, and c, right? And it's just gonna return a plus b plus c. And that's all well and good, right? But uh, obviously the only way this works right now is if we uh, give it three, four, five, whatever, and uh, we can go ahead and log that out, and sort of see what it returns to us, right? We're gonna get 12 there and uh, everything else. Obviously, it's not gonna take the rest of those arguments. And here, it's gonna give not a number, right? Because we haven't passed in anything for C. But when we build out this function with a partial application, I'm gonna use ES6, because that's the example I saw online, credit, go to GitHub, the functional jargon repo. And uh, I thought this was a very good way of doing it with ES6. Obviously, you could do it with ES5, but... So anyways, we're just gonna make this function called partial application. And it's a function, and it takes in a function, right? And it, we're going to use the um, the uh, rest operator, which is going to take the rest of the arguments that we pass in, and uh, basically convert them into an array, spread out. Okay, so with that, right? So if we pass in function one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four is going to get assigned into its own array. And what we want to do now is from this, almost like closure, we want to return a function. And I'm going to give this a better name. I'm going to call this outer args. And in here, what we're going to pass in, we're going to return a function that is also going to aggregate all the arguments. So I'm going to call this inner args. And don't worry that you're getting this error, right? Mozilla, it's not available. It's still going to work. Okay, so with that, right, um, let me spread that out so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, we're returning a function and we're aggregating the inner args here. I'll show you how this works. And now what we can do is we can call the function right, with, uh, we want to call outer args, we want to call it with all the outer args, and all of the inner args, okay, so, actually, I think, my bad, I don't know why I was doing that, just all the outer args and all the inner args, so now we can create this same method, add, and this is just a function, a, b, and c, and uh, here we're just going to return a plus b plus C. So you notice, right, add is still going to work. Let me just, I don't want to do this because it's not really functional, but plus B plus C. If we go ahead and run this, right, we're going to get 9 there. And uh, so that works, but also what we can do is say, we can say partial add, and basically we're just going to wrap it. So we're going to say partial application. We're going to give it add, and uh, so now if we look at partial add, let's go ahead and look at that partial add, let's sort of see what we're getting at this point. We're getting a function that is returning to us a function with the outer args and the inner args. So let's give this a number. Let's give it two and run it. And so now we're just getting two returned to us, right? And so, so we can keep feeding in these numbers, right? So if I give two, three, and I go ahead and log this out as well, we get two. Um, so what I wanna do is Look at this, look at what partial add is again, now that we've applied it with two and three. And so we're getting that, right? Because we haven't actually invoked it yet. So now I can say partial add and then give it four. Let's click run here. Two, three, four, undefined. And let's see, why is it undefined? Let's look at this. Console.log ABC. Let's go ahead and run that. And we get two, three, and four is its own array at this point. So what we need to do is, um, let me change this. I think I was right with these three. Let me refresh these. Two, three, four, and that's what we're getting back. And then um, let's look at this for our result. Let's go ahead and log out the result that we're getting back. And run this. We're getting nine now, right? So uh, the way this works is when we take this out, on this. We're getting two, three, four undefined. 
So what, what's happening here is we get the, when we first come in and we call partial application, it's expecting the function in the outer args. So, right, what it's doing now is returning to us a function with the inner args. And so the inner args is basically when we call it again, right, so we're calling four, four is the inner args. And so again, we want uh, these two spread out. So this is going to give us all in uh, one array, pretty much. This is basically like saying, you know, give me the... Uh, inner args and the outer args, same same sort of deal, and uh, so it, it could be like this actually. It could be like outer. I think this would work too. I might be wrong. Outer args dot cat inner args run and uh, result partial application outer args dot cat. Yeah, so that might not work. But when we use the um, the spread like this and we're collecting everything, so that's good to go, right? So I can actually put two, I can supply it with one argument, and we're gonna get not a number there, right? Um, but if we come in here to partial add and we apply six or five, you know, we're gonna get uh, 11 there. And um, I could also say console log result, right? If, we, if I try and invoke it there, which can say result is not a function. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm passing in these two arguments and I'm calling partial application. This is just a wrapper. And now what we're doing is uh, calling it again, partial add, because it's, at this point it's just a function waiting to be invoked. And so now it's undefined, right? And But then we can pass in three, undefined. And why is it undefined? It's because we're not returning anything? Okay. So cool. It's a nine. So that's the idea behind partial application. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.